As far as careers go, and hers has taken her pretty far, Monique Fiso never considered anything other than cooking. Monique started scrubbing dishes and making sandwiches at 14. At 17, she started studying for a diploma in cookery and patisserie at Welltech while working for Martin Bosley at the same time. She graduated top of her class and headed off to New York City. Monique spent the next seven years working alongside some of the best chefs in the US. She furthered her craft in French, Italian, Japanese and New American cuisine. Learning different cuisines made her reflect on her own heritage. She recognised a lack of representation of her cultures and an idea began to formulate. She put two and two together and Michelin training met traditional Māori and Polynesian cooking head on. Monique's plan was to challenge people's perception of those cuisines. After extensive travelling and planning, she started doing pop-ups all around Aotearoa. It was called Heakai, meaning hungry in Te Reo Māori, and it grew quickly. Word spread and every event sold out within minutes. Monique couldn't keep up with demand. She now needed a permanent space to truly realise her vision. At 31 years old, she opened her first restaurant in Te Whanganui Atara. She designed it down to the smallest detail. Monique assembled a core team six months prior to opening Heakai. After all, you wouldn't expect the All Blacks to get together five minutes before kickoff, or the NZSO. The aim is to showcase indigenous ingredients in an original and delicious way. Everything that leaves the kitchen and goes on the table is perfect. Because, he tangata takahi manuhiri, he marae puehu. A person who mistreats their guest has a dusty marae. Here Kai has been named one of Time Magazine's 100 Greatest Places in the World. Monique herself starred in the Netflix international cooking series, The Final Table, and gave Gordon Ramsay a run for his hangi in his National Geographic series, Uncharted. You are relentless. Chef, come on. And last month, Monique sent all her staff away for a paid week's holiday because it has been a tough year for everyone. Tradition. It's not simply about doing what you've always done. It's more than that. It's honouring the past, taking the wisdom that's been handed down and building on it, thinking of new ways to use the old ways while staying true and honest to them. Which is what Monique Fiso does and why she's the winner of the 2020 Gold Awards New Thinking Award. Kapai Tō Mahi.